Well, the last time I took this route, these beans off to my left were still green. These are a little bit green, but most are brown. The road ditches were full of uh, black-eyed Susans and uh, uh, goldenrod. And uh, now, just a few weeks later, everything has changed. The nice thing with today is that what little wind there is is to my back. I mean, it's five miles an hour, so no big deal, but. Uh, and the sun is just now coming out, which was needed. It was 55 degrees and stayed that way. And I really don't have a lot of traffic so far, which is nice. People have been friendly. I had a lot of people wave at me today. And around here, I usually assume that means they either know me or they're cyclists. There's been a couple that I think were just friendly. And of course then I get the farmer's one-fingered salute where they just raise the index finger to wave at you. Which is kind of a farmer tradition. Otherwise really a pretty good ride. I'm hoping to see my grandkids this evening. I don't know whether I will or not. My granddaughter turns five today. So actually right about this minute, five years ago, she was born. Uh, good ride. I don't see this sign working very often. This is in the little town of Menlo, and uh, obviously old school, but this is really cool. I always get a kick out of the old ones, and I don't know whether white rose gasoline was a real thing or not, but, because uh, this is white, white coal road, but I'm guessing that it is, but pretty neat stuff. Struggling with motivation again today. It was cold, sort of jacket time anyway not real comfortable I mean I can still wear shorts but I don't know something clicked again like it usually does my therapy kicked in I guess two-wheeled therapy the Sun's out there's still no wind and it's cool I'm loving it now uh, passing an ethanol plant so uh, that's just steam that you see coming out of there not smoke no pollution there sometimes if you get close enough to them they smell uh, you can smell the fermenting alcohol, but uh, I don't know, not the most productive use of corn in the world, even the most productive way to make ethanol, but I understand the politics of it, especially for Iowa.